seven people transported to the hospital after at least two cars crashed into a bus stop here. We want to zoom in to give you a closer look at some of that damage that still remains. If you happen to see Charles Dixon, police say do not approach him because he still could be extremely dangerous. If you do see him, you should call police. We're also learning new information about the threats he made against his pregnant girlfriend and why, according to court documents, she fears for her life. An officer was even hurt during this police chase. His cruiser was struck three times and it wasn't until the man drove down these train tracks across this way and then down these steps before police could catch him. John and Carrie, police gave me that exclusive surveillance video of this hit and run crash and they tell me that small bus uses this large driveway to turn around since it's safer than the kids being in the street since those kids have disabilities. But police tell us the man that lives in this apartment didn't like that the bus was turning around here so he attacked the bus when children were on board. So if you are coming to the game here today, you want to give yourself plenty of time to go through that additional security. You can see that whole trunk just snapped here like a toothpick, but this is a pretty large tree. And over here, I want to show you the other problem we're looking at is this tree actually laid over these power lines. She left work to go visit her sister across the street at the Dunkin Donuts. And when she crossed that street, she was hit and killed by a Jeep. And that's what the steamship authority tells us that the waters were rough and choppy last night. That may be part of the cause of this. But you can see that the ferry is still stuck over there on the jetty. We can zoom in a little bit. We're told that it might take a while to get that safely off of the jetty and into the water. Police say after Ayers took them through Randolph, he came back into Holbrook here along 139. Cruisers had the road blocked off, so Ayers turned right onto the commuter rail tracks and kept driving. It's getting actually hard to stand here on the beach, but Berman says the immediate damage from Jose may not be visible yet. We're live in Avon tonight. I'm Lisa Pappas. We're live in Beverly. I'm live in Dorchester. We're live at Fenway Park. We're live in Sandwich tonight. We're live in Holbrook. We're live in Hyannis. We're live in Woburn. We're live in Lemonster. I'm Lisa Pappas, Boston 25 News.